I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our midday meditations. Today we are in Isaiah 26. And we're just going to hit a few verses here. It's only 21 verses. doesn't take very long to read, so I want to encourage you just to read it. In that day they shall sing this song in the land of Judah. We have a strong city, salvation. God will appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open the gates that righteous nations which keep the truth may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. And uh, what's going on here, if you've got, depend upon what your Bible translation is, this is the word for Lord occurring twice in a row, for in the I am the I am that I am is everlasting strength. Trust ye in the I am that I am forever, for in the I am, the I am that I am is everlasting strength. This is talking about a shift that's going to happen with God's people. Up to this time, for a while, they're like, oh yeah, we love you, Lord. And then when things are going their way, then they go, oh, you know what? Um, we like this religion over here because they say what we like. We can have extra girlfriends. We can booze it up. We can even do some narcotics. It's a sweet deal. You say, no, people have been using drugs for a long time, y'all. Okay. It just happened. It was in the religions back then. And then things would go bad. And they would lose in war. And they would start having all these troubles. And then they'd go, oh, wait, we should probably go back to the God that our grandpas worshipped. Shocker. Shocker. And God's saying, there's going to come a time when the people who are my people, they're going to be my people because they want me to be their God. Not because their parents decided it or something else, which is what happened back here. You know, it was a flesh line. But in the new covenant, it's not by flesh, it's not by the will of man, it's not by blood. It's purely by the grace of God that whoever hears and whoever learns of the Father comes to Jesus, John 6, 45. No one is in this new covenant unless they choose to be, unless they say, I want the I am, the I am that I am, to be my God, and that's the one in whom I trust. And with all the times that Jesus said, I am, that should kind of key in on part of it. And the fact that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all the, 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 the entirety of the Godhead uses the name of Jehovah. And as you think about your salvation as a Christian, you're indwelt by the Spirit, you're saved by the Son, and it's all directing us back to the Father. The entire unity of who God is in us, moving toward that goal. So read Isaiah 26, great little chapter. Have a blessed afternoon. And Lord willing, we'll see you back for Twilight Talks. And Lord willing, we should be back at our regular set by then.